In this video, we will continue with combining functions. You will find this on page 107 in the Namibia AS Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C2 success. Let's look at another example. f of x is this function. x cannot be negative 1.5. Now, this is for me very important that you understand that. Because if it's negative 1.5, this will become negative 3, and negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and that will give you 6 divided by 0, which is undefined. Okay, okay, so solve the, and, and g of x is this, so solve the equation. Now they, they don't want the expression, they put it equal to each other. So basically, I do exactly the same with that part. I take g, and I, and where is g? And I throw it into f. Okay, so just a little bit algebraic. Okay, so there I did that. And then I just put it equal to 1.5 or 3 over 2. The reason why you can make 1.5 um, over 1 and then cross multiply, it's just the reason I want to cross multiply. Because it's 1 term equals 1 term. And if I do that, I get the value of x is 1. Okay, that's nice. Um, I want to do, I want you to do number three. Okay, number one is, is very easy, but let's make it a little bit more challenging. Stop the video and do for me number three. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number three. Okay, although they give you in the mapping notation, if you rewrite it, you can write it in this notation. I think sometimes it's just easier to work with. Otherwise, the writing is so challenging. Okay. Find and simplify an expression. So it's first, and this is why I'm, I'm giving you this one. I want you to see the difference. It's like the previous ones. But this GG. So can you remember the previous ones? I just rewrite it two times. And then I basically just take this. Oh, I want to take red. Take this and throw it in there. So basically, I will get GGX. And if I'm going to start with that, oh, but I'm a little bit high there. Equals, let's draw the, just go a little bit lower, uh, and then it's 2, 2x two minus 3, and that will give you, okay, 2, so it's 4x minus 6. As you see, uh, oh, 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 I see I have a mistake. Do you see, it's in there, but I forgot to write that negative 3. So it is minus uh, 6 minus 3. So the answer will be 4x minus 9. Okay. okay, now don't assume that that is what's standing there. This is done. This is fg. Okay, so that is nothing to do. It's cannot, it could have been that they said uh, ggx equals 1 over 7. And then I could have used a. But in this case, no, they're not doing that. Okay, so let's just do number B. Now they say F G X equals 1 over 7. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to take G. It's correct. Why? I start there from the back. I take G, but now I'm throwing it into X. There. And then it's equal. Oh, sorry, that pen is not nice. So, okay, let's rewrite it. So, that is going to give me 1 over, and now I'm going to say 2x minus 3, and don't forget your square, minus 9. And that is equal to 1 over 7. Start simplifying it. So, if I'm simplified, this is 1 over 2 times, okay, I'm doing the short way. So, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. This is minus 6x. Uh, so it's minus 12x. So I multiply it with each other, sign included. 
and then multiply 2. And then I square this one. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Okay. And then, oh, make, this, make it longer. Okay, let's see if I simplify this. Luckily, that cancel. So it's 1 over 4x squared minus 12x. And it's 1 over 7. Okay. And now I cross multiply, and if I cross multiply, it's going to give me 4x squared minus 12x equals 7. If I bring everything to one side, because it's quadratic, and then I factorize, just factorize, 7 and 1, and um, let's see, 2 and 2. That's right. Because it's a group B, so I must subtract. So 14 minus 2 is 12. The signs are different, and the biggest over cross get negative, positive. So what do I get? I'm going to get 2x minus 7, 2x plus 1, and that's equal to 0. So 2x minus 7 is equal to 0, or 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, therefore, x is equal to 7 over 2, or x is equal to negative 4. Okay, but now, did you read the question? Always go back, but x is bigger than 3. So this is this one, this one is going to be 3.5. So therefore, okay, you can even say, but x is bigger than 3. Therefore, x is equal to 7 over 2, or you can say 3 and a half. I, I think it's very good, especially it's going to take you one minute extra in this level to, as soon as you finish, just quickly read the question again and make sure that you didn't skip some of the information and that you are answering the question correctly otherwise you lose unnecessary marks